My next talk is how I do it, robotic LAR. Uh, whenever I give a how I do it talk, I remember a, a case I was doing, I was a PGY2 and it was a lap coli being done by a very senior surgeon and there was a medical student and it was a mess, it was a bloody mess. I mean, that was, it's one of the worst lap colis I ever saw. And at the end, he turns around to the medical student, he's like, have you ever seen a lap coli? And he was like, no, he's like, that's how it is done. So, <laughs> so uh, I have no financial disclosures. This is just a technical description and I'll show you a video of, uh, of how I do it, uh, of uh, key uh, steps. Port placements. I place a Hassan trocar at the assistant site. This may not be what most people do because there is a robotic Hassan port available, but whenever I use it, for some reason I get an air leak. So I use a, a balloon Hassan at the assistant site and I use the four robotic ports in a straight line perpendicular to the target organ, which here is the rectum. The camera port should be 15 to 20 centimeters from the target organ. If you, if you are not within that range, you will get into some kind of trouble. Either it'll be too far or it'll be too close. The rightmost port, the robotic port, you can start off with a 12 and I use a 5.8 cap on it. If you use a 5.8 cap, there is no air leak till you're ready for the stapler, then switch it to a 12. If not, you can use a 12 cap and put in a reducer. That's uh, up to you, but I, I find air leak to be the most frustrating thing for me, so I use a 5.8 cap. Ports are placed 8 to 10 centimeters apart as in any standard robotic operation. So that's a port placement. You see, I put the Hassan, balloon Hassan to establish entry at the assistant site and four ports. The patient, it's very important, like I think Dr. Stocky said in, in one of his obesity talks, to be there when the patient is being secured and positioned. Um, if, if I have my fellow doing it, then I am not there. If it is uh, anyone less than a fellow, then I'm there in the room making sure that they do the tilt test and uh, that they uh, check it that the patient is not sliding, that the pressure points are, are well preserved. I dock the robot over the left hip with the XI. You can dock it wherever you like. So this is what the robotic screen looks like when you have uh, the patient in position. This particular patient was in 24 degrees Trendelenburg, 11 degrees right side down, the camera 30 degrees down. I use a, a uh, 30, some people use a zero. That's what the patient should lo look like at the end of the positioning. Uh, 